Now, Brittany, I'm told that three bailiffs have found themselves stranded inside a jail elevator so three times so far this year. And while no one was hurt in any of those incidents, it is a sign of how the county's financial past is putting bailiffs and the public at risk. This will take you straight to the jail. On Monday, this Jefferson County jail elevator failed, stranding Judge Stephen Wallace's bailiff inside so with six inmates for 20 minutes. They don't need to be on the same elevator with a bailiff uh, who's tasked with escorting them upstairs for 20, 30 minutes on an elevator by themselves. Fortunately, the bailiff was able to safely escort the suspects to court using a public elevator. But the episode highlights the dangers of the Jefferson County Justice Center's aging equipment. Right now, three of the building's six elevators are shut down for replacement. And three weeks ago, opposing parties were forced to ride together. Several weeks ago, we had a situation where there was some sort of confrontation on the elevator, which spilled out onto my floor, the fourth floor, uh, for which we had to call extra deputies to stop and prevent a further escalation of a fight. County Manager Tony Patella says when the county lost the occupational tax about a decade ago, they had to delay building maintenance for years. Until we got the refunding of the sales tax, it, it, uh, we've we're, uh, got a lot of deferred maintenance that we're trying to catch up on. And it's going to take us several years to do this. Potentially putting those charged with escorting accused criminals in danger. When you don't take care of your infrastructure, this is what happens, is it starts to fall apart. Well, County Manager Tony Patelis uh, tells me that a contractor is currently in the middle of a $1.9 million uh, project to replace all six elevators inside the Criminal Justice Center. Three brand new elevators will be up and running in the next three weeks. He tells me at that time, we'll take the other three elevators out of service for replacement. That project should take another two to three months to complete. I'm in Birmingham, John Papke, WBTM 13.